Hi, boys and girls. One of the activities that you can do for Jack and the Beanstalk is to grow your own beanstalk. And this book will help um, give you some ideas about what you can do and how you can do it. So it's called Growing a Beanstalk for Jack. Chapter one, Jack and the Beanstalk. Jack and his mother were very poor. Jack's mother told him to sell their cow. Instead, he traded the cow for five magic beans. Jack's mother was angry. She, drew, she threw the beans outside. Jack was supposed to get money for the cow at the market. The next morning, Jack looked outside. A huge beanstalk had grown. Jack climbed the beanstalk. At the top, he found the home of the giant. The home was filled with treasure. Jack took a bag of gold. He carried it home. Jack climbed the beanstalk again. This time, he stole a magic goose. It laid golden eggs. Another time, Jack grabbed a harp, but the harp could talk. It called for help. The giant chased Jack down the beanstalk. Jack grabbed an axe. He chopped down the huge beanstalk. The giant fell down with a crash. Jack and his mother were safe. Jack sold the golden eggs at the market. Chapter 2. Growing a Bean Plant Huge beanstalks only appear in fairy tales, but you can grow your own bean plants at home. Different plants grow best under different conditions. These conditions include water, sunlight, and soil. People can grow green beans to eat. For example, some plants need lots of water. Other plants need only a little. Similarly, some plants thrive in direct sunlight. Other plants grow well in indirect sunlight. You will grow bean plants in different levels of sunlight. You will see which, plants grow, which, which plant grows best over time. A fun fact is people have been growing beans for more than 6,000 years. The materials you will need are three cups, soil, bean seeds, and water. Now, if you don't have bean seeds at home, but you have other types of seeds, you could try using the types of seeds that you have at home. Instructions. Fill a cup with soil. Make sure the soil is not packed too tightly. Use your finger to make a one inch hole in the soil. Drop a seed into the hole. And then lightly brush the soil over the seed to cover it. And then you're going to repeat steps one to three with the other two cups. Fun fact, beans are one of the fastest growing plants in the world. Add water to each cup until the soil is moist, but not too wet. Place one cup in a sunny window. Place a second cup farther inside the room. Place the third cup in a dark room or closet. Check the plants daily. Add water when the soil feels dry. Watch and wait for your plants to grow. Record the results. Which plant grows the fastest? Which plant grows the biggest? In the real world, greenhouses. Many people grow plants outside in the sun. They grow plants in the spring and summer. But some people live in cold climates and other people may want to grow plants during the winter. In the winter, it is too cold to grow plants outside. The plants would freeze. Instead, people grow plants inside a greenhouse. A greenhouse is made of glass. The glass lets in lots of sunlight. The sunlight warms the inside of the greenhouse. The building traps the heat inside. The greenhouse stays warm and wet. It is a great place for plants to grow. So with the greenhouse, um, heat from the sun enters the greenhouse. The walls and roof trap some of the heat inside. And people can add plastic sheeting to trap even more heat inside. Chapter 3. Results. The plant in direct sunlight grew very well. It grew full leaves. The plants in indirect sunlight grew too. Its stem was long. The stem bent toward the nearest window. The plant in the dark also grew. Plants grow toward light. Bean plants do not need sunlight to germinate. 
but this plant did not grow leaves. Its stem was long and white. Try growing new bean plants while changing other conditions. Water one plant every day, water another plant only when the soil is dry. Do not water the third plant at all. Which plant grows best? First, um, or place one seed in sand, place another seed in soil, place the third seed in clay. Which plant grows best? Change, changes happen underground before a plant breaks through to the surface. And you can see some of those changes in this picture. Fun fact, the color of the light can also affect how plants grow. Chapter four, the science behind plants. Most plants have the same parts. Those plants are seeds, roots, stems, leaves, and flowers. When a seed germinates, roots grow down into the soil. They soak up nutrients and water in the soil. Even though they look very different, most plants have the same parts. Soon, a stem grows out of the seed. The stem pushes up through the soil. It holds up the plant. In time, the stem grows leaves. Leaves help make food for the plant. Later, the plant grows flowers. Flowers hold new seeds. These seeds fall to the ground. They get buried in the soil. The cycle of life starts all over again. Plants get nutrients from the soil, but plants also make their own food. This process is called photosynthesis. The process starts with water, air, and sunlight. Plants absorb water from the soil. They also take in a gas called carbon dioxide from the air. Chlorophyll in leaves absorbs sunlight. That light has energy. The wind blows dandelion seeds to new areas. Soon, new dandelions will grow. Plants use that energy. They change the carbon dioxide and water into oxygen and glucose. Glucose is food for the plant. Plants release the oxygen into the air. People and animals breathe in the oxygen. We need oxygen to live. Without plants, there would be no oxygen for people to breathe. Plants might not take us up to a giant's castle, but without them, there would be no life on Earth. So here's a diagram of photosynthesis. We get energy from the sunlight. Um, there's glucose, which is used by the plant. There's water absorbed through the soil. Carbon dioxide is absorbed from the air and oxygen is released into the air. And a fun fact is chlorophyll is what gives um, leaves their green color. And here's some questions. You can pause the video and try to answer them on your own. A glossary of some of the important words where you can find some more information. An index and the answer key for those questions. I hope you enjoyed um, learning a little bit about what you can do to grow your own beanstalk and try that experiment out um, at home now.